Hello, 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 and it's an exciting day today. Today, I, I, I can officially say I have finished this craft folder. I've done my front, uh, and the other one just needs the front doing. I've used this beautiful chiffon, um, which I've stitched down just to give it a bit more character. Um, and all, of, all I need to do now, I picked out the red because this has got red in it. Uh, but I do like the red with these papers anyway. They're largely green, so, you know, they, they match nicely. So let's pop that to one side and I'll bring on the other one. There's the chiffon. Um, it's, it's beautiful. It's really gorgeous. I can't remember where I got it from. Could have been Timu. Could have been Etsy. I don't know. I've had it quite a long time and just haven't used it. So here's this one. I've already done the collage, but I haven't stuck it down or anything yet. Um, but what I intend to do is try the top down version of collaging because whoa, that's off to a flying start there. Um, because so many of you said give it a try. So I'm just going to give it a try. But before I do that, I've got this here. come out without taking everything else out thank you and I've got another couple of labels here I don't know if I'm going to use them or not um, but I just want to ink them up a bit they look very very white so I'll just get my messy mat out my vintage photo ink just put some down that should be plenty add some water to that then I'm just I'm going to drop these in, just get a bit of colour on them, take that real stark white away, and same with this one. Oh, it's got quite a bit on. There we go, and this one. Like I said, probably won't use them all, but I will use at least one of them. So let's just clean that up. My messy mat needs a really good clean with alcohol. It's getting to be a real messy mat. So I'm just going to dry those. Okay, so they're pretty much dry now. And I'm while I've got them like that, you could either stamp on them or use your remnant rubs. Um, I'm going to use my remnant rubs because they always stand out so nicely. Um, I'm running out of remnant rubs, to be honest. Let's see what I've got on the next page. Wee, hello. Um, I've got that. I've got under here. I think that's more of the same, to be honest. Um, 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 some signatures here. They look quite nice. Okay, I've definitely got enough here to use. Uh, handle with care no it's a bit it's a bit dark but that smaller one let's get my scissors the smaller one here will do nicely I think so that can go on there yeah that's gonna look quite nice big enough um, I've got these signatures here with a beetle and I'm not fancying the beetle much if I'm honest with you but I do like these two signatures. Ooh, what's going on here? The release sheet's coming off. That's, oh my goodness, that's going to make life interesting. Right, let's see if I can get this on here without it sticking up somewhere. Without it getting stuck somewhere, I don't want it to be. So about there, I would say. That's just a few we did well there. I want it up more over to this side because it's gone behind the, the fella. There we go. And something else down here. Maybe... A shorter word or a number 
Hmm. Difficult. Well, I've got this not invoiced here that's just hanging on by a thread. It's a question of use it or lose it, I think. So I'm going to use it. Not invoiced. Lovely. Ooh, it's a bit movie, a bit movie aroundy. I don't know what's wrong with this. It's kind of not working. Part of it's worked and part of it hasn't. I don't know why that is. I'll leave that. There's something wrong with that. I think it's just been kicking around too long, to be honest. So, what else have I got on this bit here? Um, well, I quite like that. These ones here. In fact, probably all of that. Would that fit on there? Yeah, let's, let's use that then. There's quite a few there all together. Done the done the work for me. Let's see if this is all right. Should be. Oh, I'm making a right job of putting these down. There we go. That's that. I think that's probably sufficient. And I don't want to put anything. In fact, I'm not going to put that on there. I'm going to wait and see which one I want to use. Um, I'll just keep those out for just now. There we go. So just put those over there. I, I will be using one, so I will want some of these. But for the meantime, uh, the release tape and everything else is going in the bin. Try and keep it tidy. Okay, <clears throat> so that's what this one looks like. And the other we'll keep in abeyance to see which one we want to use. Blah, 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 blah. Right, so that's going to go. Now, you see, already I'm confused. Was that behind there? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my giddy aunt. These little blinking pieces of ephemera drive me mad. Drive me completely bonkers. Right, so it sort of goes there. That comes up and goes over his face a little bit. Come on, just play the game. Right, okay. So, which is the first bit? Probably this bit, I think. I'm going to ink around them. Oh my goodness, I just need a photograph, don't I really? Just a light inking, I'm not going to town on the inking. And the next bit I think is this one. Well, a lot of ink on there. So let's do that. So I think that comes like that. I'm just going to say it comes like that. Let's just hope that's something like right. So down to about there. 
This does not come easy to me doing it this way. Let's just hope that it works. I'm just going to square that up on my board. Just make sure that it is square. Right, that's square. Excellent. So the next thing is this green leaf that goes like that. No, not like that, I think. Oh my goodness. If this works out, I'll tell you, be a miracle. It will be a miracle. But it might. Mr. F has been so busy today. He's been outside. You remember I told you last week he bought a pruning saw. Well, he's been outside with that. Oh my goodness, my heart was in my mouth. He, um... They are separate. He was teetering on top. We don't have a ladder or anything like that. So he was kind of teetering on top of this, these kitchen steps hanging onto the tree and then that wasn't good enough for him. He had to get up on top of the fence. <laughs> oh, I couldn't go outside and watch, but I couldn't not watch. So I watched from the inside. Um, I'm not doing this top down, am I? I'm doing it bottom up. Oh, well. Right, so that flower wants to stick on there. So let's just do that. Let's put some glue around here and get that flower to stick there. There's a bit of surplus glue, but that's okay. And just a little bit down here. Like that. That's fine. That's lovely. So that's going to go there, is it, I think? I think so. And then we've got the green label, which has got this on it. So I'm going to stick this onto the label before. These are very, very fine. My life. Gosh, they're thin. So that wants to go at that sort of angle, I think. But it goes behind. Oh, he's not stuck on there yet. It goes behind. Blimey. Nearly swore there, guys. I nearly swore. Let's stick that on. I, I don't, I'm not liking this sort of collage. I like it when I do it the way I normally do it. So, so hang on, that goes under him there. And I don't know if that was coming across the front or not, but it is now. There we go, right, excellent. And then this goes in behind all that, like that. Let's just check that looks all right. Yeah, I think that's fine. Don't think that's very straight at all. Uh, yes, it will allow me to move it. That's better there, yeah, that's fine. And that is going to go, I think it just goes there. I think this red one just pokes out. So it's down to about there. Uh, right. seem to work out once I turn it over which is which is the right way which is the wrong way so he goes there like that the flowers just stick out there 
and let's line that up let's line this up yep okay so i think it's fairly square i think that's probably it done but now i've got a great gap here and i'm not liking that so much so i'm going to have to find something to go in there and i'll put all my green things away oh there is a little green bit here will you assist me please yeah i think that's fine because it goes with that perfect let's do that that was handy very handy so it's just a little bit down here a little bit across the bottom and it just goes into oh no that's not right a little bit across the bottom so that's just going to go there like that lovely that's fine yeah that oh, doesn't want to stay that's fine that's much better that's going to go there like that right so the next thing that i want to do is get my chiffon find the half I, I don't know quite how much this measures let me tell you it measures um let's go for 15 plus 15 so that's 30 30 just a touch over a yard find the center mark which is there so that's what's going to go on the spine and then i'm going to fold it up like that and put our fella in there like that fold this up over him so you can't see the raggedy edge on the bottom of the collage so i just want to kind of stick that onto there so stay everybody stay 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 i'm going to use my glue stick because i don't want the glue to come through the the fabric through the chiffon it's really sheer so so make sure that's square on there and then just pull that up over the front and it's going to get sewn so it doesn't have to be sticking down forever because you're going to sew it right so that's that so what i'm going to do now is stitch i could do with that being slightly better stock um let's just put that up that's it right i'm going to stitch from oh, i'm going to put some glue on the back it's becoming a joke lovely right now we're sorted now we're cooking so I'm going to hold it like that and sew it. I'm going to start in the middle because this chiffon looks like it might shift to me. Shifty chiffon. Um, and then I'll come back to you and show you what I've got. So there we go. So I'm just going to trim my ends off. So you can fluff that out, it, this chiffon stuff. Um, it frays really easily, which is lovely. So there we have it. We've got our closure. 
we've got him stuck down nicely to that. He looks gorgeous. I must say, I really like this one. I like the red in three places. Um, I just want to just put a bit of glue there so I can stick that fabric down to it. Just to make life easy. Nobody will ever see it. It's just to make my life a little easier. There we are. So that is going to get stuck. Wrong way, wrong way. There, and I'm going to stick it down. Otherwise, it's just going to become a pest. So it's going to go about there. Um, and now I need to decide what I want to put along the bottom. So maybe, no, not that there, because I've got that one there. So maybe that there. And... Hmm. Now I remember why I had that piece laid out. <laughs> yeah, because it was going to go there. So, so here we are. Here's my box of greens. Let's see what we've got in it that I might want to put there. Um, those are nice stickers. Leave those out there a possibility. Oh, there's a butterfly there. Yeah, let's go with a butterfly. Nothing wrong with the odd bit of butterfly, is there? These are from the Tim Holtz collage strips. Oh, I quite like those green stamps as well. So I could have that there and this just coming over the top like that. That would look quite nice. Or I could have that there and have these green stumps just there. Yeah, I think I like the green stumps more. Yep, that was easy. So I'm going to have to stamp something or, you know, put a remnant rub on there. So what can it say? It could say exhibit a specimen. Yeah, could say that. Exhibit A. Along there, and then specimen. Lovely. Right. Where's the tweezers? Here's the tweezers. Let's get the release paper off that perfect pop that along there so it's all come together quite nicely I think I, I do like it I definitely like it it's definitely what I had in mind so that's good. I haven't gone off track. There we are. And then specimen along here. Perfect. I don't think I need any more than that. Lovely. Right, let's get rid of these because they're full of static and they're quite annoying because they keep sticking to you. Put those in the bin. Right, okay, so want some ink around here. I'm just going to stick that onto there. And then you'll never know that I've overlapped with my stitching at all. Now, I'm going to use my collal because the other glue doesn't like to glue to fabric. Let's pop that down there. Lovely. You can just see the top of the chiffon there, which I quite like. And then this one is just going to go over there a little bit. 
and up over the chiffon and down, further down. So, actually this is a sticker and I might get on better if I actually used it as a sticker. So I don't want the back coming off the front at any stage. That wouldn't be good. There we go. I'm just going to put a bit of glue on this because it's been, uh, you know, it's had, oh, it's still very sticky though. It's had coffee dye on it and stuff, vintage photo, should I say. So that's going to go just over the stumps and like that. And does that look straight? Not far off. Yeah, I think we're all right there. So then what I'm going to do is stick the whole thing down. So, so there's just this end and this end that's going to flap around. I don't want this flapping around. It would become a nuisance, to be honest. So just going to glue, glue that to there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed making these um, craft folders. I know quite a few of you followed along. Quite a few of you are followed, still following along. Um, you know, don't beat yourself up about not being at the same stage as I am. I have to keep on trucking. You know, people look for videos and such things, so I have to keep going. Um, but you can take your own time. Just do it, you know, whenever. Right, so let's lift this up. And I want it about there. I think that's about perfect. Yep, so that's that. Let's get my brayer out because it's quite lumpy. These ones down the bottom will need some encouragement, I imagine, to stick. But there we have him. So let's just tie him up. There we go. Oh, he looks lovely. I love him. So where's my other one here? So that's the two. They're very similar in a lot of ways. This one's more red. This one's more green. Um, and that's how I will define them in the uh, in my shop on my coffee site. Uh, we'll have the red one, which is this one, and the green one, which is this one. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now, onwards and upwards to our next project. What's that going to be? I don't know. Um, I don't know at this stage. I have a big project brewing in the background, but it's going to take a little while because I have to get certain things together. I have to get my ducks in a row, as you might say. So it's ongoing, but it'll be a while till it comes to maturation, I think. Um, so we need another little project to do. Don't they look nice like that? They really do. Yeah, so this is the red one with mostly red ephemera and the red bit of paper down here which is a bit of Kathy Holden down here and this is the green one it's kind of more green throughout really so so thank you very much uh, keep an eye out on my coffee site I'll put on the group when I put them up for sale and thank you so much for your support during this um, I've enjoyed your company thank you bye for now